find your first house and it's not as hard as you think so first things first you need to get with the realtor that you trust all right i can't stress that enough you need somebody that's going to back you up somebody that's going to be in your best interest because this is going to be one of the biggest purchases if not the biggest purchase you've ever made in your life so that's number one number two is you're going to get with a reputable loan officer that's with a reputable loan company right so again you want to get with somebody that knows what they're doing they know the numbers and they're going to be in your best interest all right so that's number two number three is a process where you're going to get a pre-approval letter from that loan officer letting you know how much you qualify for right so what they do is they look at your credit history. They're gonna run your credit report. They're gonna look at your bank statements. They're gonna look at how responsible you are. In addition to that, they're gonna look at your income to debt ratio. And then they're gonna come up with a score. They're gonna tally everything up. And then they're gonna let you know how much they're gonna lend you to get a new house. So let's say you got $200,000 they're gonna lend you. Now, you're ready for step number four. You're ready to look for your house with your realtor. Now, let's say you're out looking at different houses for a couple of weeks and you finally spot one, all right? So now that's gonna get us to step number five, which is you're going to put an offer on this house that you like. And this is why we're going back steps when I said you're going to need a reputable realtor. So what this realtor is going to do in step number five, putting that, that offer in with you in the contract, they have to know what they're doing. They have to be able to read through the trickery and all of the other things that come with contracts. All right. So once they put that contract in, you're going to tell the realtor exactly what it is you want to pay for this house right so you have a listing price right so the listing price is what the house is listed for and then you have what you're going to offer so if the house is let's say two hundred thousand dollars you may offer a hundred and ninety seven thousand dollars right and now that negotiation process is has started maybe in the contract you say i want the refrigerator and the stove to say and then the seller says okay all right so now that you've agreed upon the terms now what's going to happen next is you are going to get an inspection on the house right so that's that's step number six you're going to get an inspection on the house and then the inspector is going to look at everything in the house and let you know if there's anything that's wrong so again you want to get with a reputable inspector that's going to let you know every little thing that's wrong that way you know what's going on once you purchase this house all right so that's step number six number seven is the appraisal right so the appraisal is a person that's going to tell you what the value of the house is so if it's listed for two hundred thousand and you offer 197 maybe the house is worth even more than than two hundred thousand maybe it comes in at 205 so if it comes in at 205 that lets you know you're already walking in the door with eight thousand dollars worth of equity in your home all right and so the last step basically is to go to the closing table you sign all of the, the paperwork that's going to transfer the possession over to you the ownership over to you uh with that house and that's pretty much what the process is now quick thing when we're talking about these different loans you have va loans which are more so for veterans uh you have fha loans are for people that have okay credit scores and then you have conventional these are the people that have great credit scores so depending on what tier you fall in um according to your credit score is is where the loan officer is going to guide you right so if you if you have a conventional loan you may have to put a little bit more down than the fha 
but at the end of the day, you're going to get a lower interest rate. So if you're a conventional loan, you may have, uh, you know, a, a, a program for you to where maybe you, you have $1,000 down, but in the end of the day, your interest rate is probably going to be higher than someone that's going to get a conventional loan. All right. Now to add to that, you have a program called first time home buyers, right? And with this, this, this program, depending on the lender, you're going to get a perk for being a first time home purchaser, right? So get with a reputable realtor, get with a reputable loan officer and company. And this is how you're going to buy your first house. It's not that hard guys. Peace out.